Bhagavad chapter 5, text 20. Na preste priyam prapya norvide prapya kapriyam stira budirasa mudro brahma vid brahmanistitam. Person who neither rejoices upon achieving something pleasant, nor laments upon obtaining something unpleasant, who is who are stable, intelligent, who is unbewildered, and who knows the science of God, is already situated in transcendence. So this is the symptom of someone who is self-realized. They, they are stable in the happiness and distress. So they don't get depressed when there's something un, like an unpleasant or lament because they, they are situated themselves. They know the, they have practical understanding how the self is not really touching the matter. And thus, matter doesn't affect the self. And also when they have something pleasant, they don't become over proud or lose the control. They are similar way stable because even when we get something material pleasant, it's always temporary. And when we get others to that, that leads to suffering later. You know, who has a steady intelligence. Once Viveka Kyati has arisen, Viveka Kyati is then one's light of discrimination. One knows the matter, one knows the spirit, the meaning of both. So one can, uh, one, uh, like an intelligence, spiritually directed way. And when that happens, when, when we are in a state of the Viveka, then one is more unbewildered. One, one doesn't get confused. <clears throat> when there's material experiences, the gunas, satvarachas and tamas doesn't anymore affect one. And these all three gunas, they make one bewildered. One loses the connection to the self and start to identify with the matter. And who knows the science of God? So knowing the God is science. And to know God is to love God. So, so, that's something that, that is un something that understanding is integrated to our self, spirit self, because we've been here millions of lifetimes, we're not really connected to that self. That which is natural has become unnatural. So, so someone who is self realized uh, is, has reconnected to that science of God. One knows how the God works through his energies in this mode. And that kind of person is already situated in transcendence. They already transcend themselves, even if they, they may live in this world and act in this world, but in their own they are free.